Well, school is almost out, and that could mean you or your high school student are looking for a summer job. In the recent past, experts say the economy has made the job market extra competitive, leaving older generations holding jobs that high school students normally would. But this year, could making some extra cash become easier for teenagers? News Channel 15's Gina Glaros joins us live in our studio with more. Gina? That's right. Nationally, the research shows that this summer could be more promising than several years in the past because of a climbing economy. Locally, though, it seems like a mixed bag. The Dairy Queen at Lyman Coliseum in Fort Wayne says it's already received about 20 job applications for the summer. We've been getting quite a few applications already because uh, school's getting ready to, to get out. And uh, so, yeah, we have a lot of them that are looking for summertime jobs. It hired one high school and one college student, and it looks like the others will have to search somewhere else. Manager Cheryl Wallace says she usually has between 10 and 12 employees. Only a couple are in high school. A lot of them come when they were in high school. They've stayed until they went to college, and then they come back in the summertime. This year, U.S. unemployment has fallen to 7.7 percent. That's the lowest level in four years. Analysts say overall job growth is strong, with the U.S. economy adding 165,000 new jobs in April, so high school students should have a better shot at a job. On the other hand, by the time summer comes around, the effects of the sequester could hurt teens' job prospects by dampening the economy in general, which could lead some businesses to make additional spending cuts. As for DQ employees, many have been there for much longer than just the summer. Wallace started here when she was 14, and it's for more than just making some extra cash. I really enjoy the job. I enjoy the people that come in that I've met over the years, and um, you meet a lot of friends, and uh, it's a lifetime memory then. I spoke to several other local businesses. Places like McDonald's and Starbucks say their employees are of all ages, and their staff is mostly full. Now, one RB says its employees are mostly older. In Studio 15 tonight, Gina Galeros, News Channel 15.